Welcome to the final email of our course and we're looking at the reading section and at this stage this is the last section of the exam and you're probably tired and running out of time and it's certainly not easy so you probably need all the practice you can get now what we recommend you do for this uh, section of the test is actually read the questions um, before reading the reading section. So if you read the question, well, it tells you what you need to you need to focus on. Um, now um, I remember I took the test, you know, ten years ago, and someone gave me this advice, and I found it very hard to. Except, I just thought, ah, oh, but that's silly because you, you won't understand any of this anyway if you spend time reading it. But um, I actually do recommend that you read the questions before, and um, especially if you're running out of time. Mm. And just, yeah, go through them twice or something. Um, but in the reading section, yes, we go over the questions and tell you this is what you need to look for and then we do the reading so actually we'll just get Kaoru to, to read this one mm. and that'll give you a, a taste of what we do so imagine we've ex sort of gone through all these and now we're going for the reading Yamada-san is so we'll just stop there. So Yamada san has a, has a family of six or has six family members, including himself, yes? This means. Yes. Yeah. In Japanese, they have a unique way of saying, I'm of six family members. Uh, he's married. He. He married mm. and has two children, yes. a girl and a boy. There. Mm. So daughter is five and the son is three. Yamada-san no oksan no okaa-san to otoo-san mo issho ni sundeimasu. Yamada's wife's, so we have Yamada-san no, Oksan no, Oka-san to, Oto-san no, Isho ni sundemasu. So, this just means he's living with his wife's mother and father. We have two possessives here. Yamada-san no, Oksan no, mother and father mo, Isho ni sundemasu which is very common in Japan, in so Japanese it, culture. Mm. But we won't go into that. And, final sentence. Yamada-san no jibun no ryoushin wa chikaku ni sundeimasu. Yamada's own parents, ryoushin means parents, live close by. And then we go through the answers and eliminate the wrong ones and tell you what to look for and it's a whole learning process and we have um, basically the same amount of questions you would have in the test. So yeah, we basically wrote these from scratch, they're all original questions, but we took the time to study previous tests. Um, to make sure you'd get basically an, a real copy of a proficiency test. So it's all here for you. Um, so if you'd like to see how you went and get two more tests with all, you know,
know, about three hours of video on showing you how to answer the test, please, um, please buy Japanese proficiency power. And um, if you buy it and you're not happy, you can ask for your money back within eight weeks. And Um, yeah, the test can be hard, and at the moment it's only once a year for levels three and four. And I remember years ago when I took the test, I invested in books, and um, I found it quite a stressful occasion. And there just weren't any products out there. The only products were the the exams previous exam, so you could buy last year exam. But it didn't really teach you anything. Just it was just the exam, and um, yeah, really challenging to, to study for when there were no materials. But now we have the internet, and we have stuff like what we've given you today, which can help you pass. Um, if you don't buy our product, that's fine. Uh, we wish you all the best, and hope that the practice test has helped you. And um, good luck this year in December. Kanbatte. Kanbatte. Mm. Okay. Thank you. Sayonara.